Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to show you is how we can find the general equation of a circle in Cartesian form. And to do this what I've got here is the center of the circle C with coordinates x1, y1. And the radius of the circle is R. And also we've got any general point P on the circumference of the circle has coordinates x, y. Now to work out the equation of the circle is very straightforward. All we've got to do is consider Pythagoras' theorem. I'll explain why in a minute, but uh, we'll just write this in here. We'll say by Pythagoras' theorem. And what we've got to do is consider a right angle triangle. A right angle triangle extending from the center of the circle C to the point P, the general point on the circumference of the circle. And this point here, let's say that we call it Q. Now, by Pythagoras' theorem, we know that the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides of our right angle triangle are going to equal the hypotenuse squared. So in other words, what we've got is that CQ squared plus PQ squared is going to equal the hypotenuse squared, CP squared. So there's our basic relationship that we're going to work with. So this is going to enable us then to find the equation of the circle. So we'll just put therefore equation of circle is okay. Now, what's it going to be? Well, for CQ, CQ, this length here, is going to be given by the difference in the x coordinates. We know the x coordinate of Q, because it's vertically below P, will be x. So this length here is going to be x minus x1. And we're looking at CQ squared, so what we've got is x minus x1. That's CQ, we need to square it. And to this we add the distance PQ, or squared. Well PQ will be the difference in the y coordinates. We can see that the y coordinate of P is y, and the y coordinate of Q, because it's on the same horizontal as C here, will be y1. So we've got this distance PQ as y minus y1. But then we've got to square it, so we've got y minus y1 all squared. And this is equal to CP all squared. Now CP, you can see, is the radius of the circle. So this is going to be equal to R squared. So what we've got here is our general form for the equation of a circle. Given its center, x1, y1, and its radius, r. So I would really strongly recommend that you learn this particular form for the equation of a circle. Now what I've got here is an example just to demonstrate how easy this is to create the equation of a circle. What we've got here is to find the equation of a circle with center 4, minus 2, and radius 3. In fact, you might want to pause the video at this stage if you just want to try this out. I'll give you a moment just to do that. OK, well, let's see how you got on if you did try it. What I'd want to do is just write a short intro, and that intro would be, therefore, the equation of the circle, rather than just writing it in, OK? I always believe that it's a good idea to have some kind of subtitle or intro. So we've got the equation of circle is, OK? And what's it going to be? Well, it's going to be x, the general point on the circumference, minus the x-coordinate for the centre. So it's going to be x minus 4. And then we square that. That's that part. And then plus, and we do much the same for the y-coordinates. We take the general y-point on the circumference, 
and from that subtract the y coordinate for the center of the circle. So we've got y minus minus 2 and that's squared and it equals the radius squared so that would be 3 squared. And cleaning this up I'm not going to expand this I'm just going to leave it as x minus 4 all squared plus and here we have y plus 2 all squared equals 9. And that generally is sufficient when you're asked to find the equation of a circle. So leave it in that form. Okay, well I hope that's given you a start anyway on finding the equation of a circle. Given its center, as I say, the radius and any point P on the circumference.